Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. Today we're doing a song by Janis Joplin called Me and Bobby McGee. And we're going to do, you know, there's some, some piano, some keyboard parts in there and some guitar. We're going to kind of mix it all together and, and have fun with it. Let me put it on the keyboard so you can see that. Here we go. And go. There we go. So uh, I'm getting my voice back, so that's great. A little bit more every day. Still can't, can't quite sing yet. I feel like I could, but you know, I want to take it easy. Uh, the doc said I didn't have any nodes or nodules, uh, that it just takes a while. To, you know, As long as you were sick, it probably is going to take that long to recover, so that's a couple of months. <laughs> so uh, I feel like I'm getting back every day, but I'm not going to push it. Okay, Talking's great. Talking's fine, uh, but I'm not going to try to sing too much yet. So let's get to this, all right? We have... Um, a great song here. I have to admit, it's one that I didn't really know well. I think I've heard it before, but, you know, it's just one of those that I miss. I didn't really start listening to, to rock music until, you know, I was close to 30 years old. So um, some of it I missed. And this is a song I have not heard very much. So I, nobody can believe that. My little daughter, you know, who's, who's almost 10. It's like, you've never heard that, Dad? Anyway, so I'm uh, getting to play this. It's got a lot of cool keyboard parts. Uh, some piano stuff we can do in there as well. Plus guitar, you know, we, we've you got to do some things where you can't hear the piano. So that's what we're going to do as well. Uh, I'm going to give you a lot on this free part one, uh, since I haven't been able to do any lessons in a while, ready to get back into it. Uh, but, you know, you can get all the lessons on webpianoteacher.com as well as download my sheets for this. They are extensive. I go through the whole song, okay? But let's get to this uh, extended part one, see what we're doing. So we start with the guitar. And we don't want to have it too heavy. We don't, we just want to. You know, because it's just light strumming, okay? And it, you know, starts right there. So at the beginning, we have G, D, G. Right hand has B, D, G. So I'm just going to kind of give you a pattern. You know, if you play guitar, you know, dun, dun, digga, digga, dun, dun, digga, digga. So I just kind of play left hand, right, and then I go thumb. Kind of do my thumb, my left hand, and then the whole chord on the right. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. So as long as you have that dun, dun, dicka, dicka, dun, dun, dicka, dicka, kind of feeling, it doesn't matter which notes you play, you know, left hand, right hand, exactly. As long as you can kind of create that rhythm, okay? That's the important thing is rhythm here. Um, you know, like a rhythm guitar, they call it. So that's the most important thing. Bum, 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 bum. And each measure I put two counts one two now da, 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 da. so the next one we have G E G C E G on the right as the guitar goes to a C chord so da, 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 da. okay so and then now we go to G chord to C chord in one measure one and two and a. so left right left right left right and then we're back to the regular G chord one two one two two counts for each measure okay so this may take you a while just doing this beginning part if you've never tried to play rhythm on piano like a guitar does uh, you know I, instead of trying to create a piano part that's going to sound okay i like to try to just do what the guitar is doing because the, the piano is the great copier of everything it can can mimic a lot of instruments not exactly but it can get close okay so one and two Try to make it sound smooth and natural, not choppy and robotic. And then she starts singing right here. And I'm not going to sing yet. <laughs> GDG, BDG, six times. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So right there, you just your six measures while the singing is going. So 
Well, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the next time, we go to a D chord. So right here, I'm giving the option of just playing the chord. Or if you want to do that guitar fill, I'll put that in there. Let me kind of roll that there. So if you want to put that fill in, it's optional. You don't have to put that fill in on the top. You can just go A, D, F sharp and go one and two. One, two. Okay? The singing does start here. Uh, the fill sounds like this if you want to do it. A, C. You can even flip that A from a G sharp. Then a G. And then F, F sharp as we put that C again on the top. And then a D. And then you can roll it if you want. That's a common piano thing. So singing starts. Da, 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 da. Six. If you don't want to do the fill, da, 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 da. Da, okay. But the fill is. And then we're still on the D chord. And by the way, if you're if you're doing this, uh, you know I, I, I'll hear people say sometimes, "Slow down." This is a, uh, a lot of times if. If you're feeling that, uh, this might be out of your wheelhouse right now. Maybe you're trying something too hard, too early, because um, it's just it's just chord vamping. And if that's kind of nudie, we all have to start somewhere, right? There's no, no problem with that. You probably need to play some, some easier things first before you graduate to this, because I hate to see someone quit, not because they can't do it, but because they, they try to raise the bar, try something that's too hard, too early. All right, so don't, that's, a, that's the main reason people quit their instrument is because they they try to jump up before they do all the middle work, okay? So uh, you can't hit the pause button, right? So you can always stop it and, and work on stuff. Some of you, you may need to work a week on just this rhythm guitar stuff, and that's fine. Uh, but just be aware of your, your limitations right now, you know? What we can do now is nothing compared to what we might do you know, a year from now or six months from now. All right, so there's my little soapbox speech. We're on the D chord steel. Da, 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 da. Three, four, five, six. So six times. Now, if you want to do this fill, G, F sharp, I hear the, the uh, guitar doing that. So, so you can put that in there if you want. G, F sharp. If you don't know the song well, you know what I'm talking about. Put it again if you want. But it's six measures, six times. And then, so the guitar goes. So that's another guitar doing it. Da -da 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 -da. Those are fun to do on the piano. You can even put them up an octave. So put that up an octave if you want. Anyway, this is just like this measure was. Okay, so. One and two and then. Want to do the fill? It's B A G E D, and that B has a little hook on it, which tells me to flip it from an A sharp. And then we're in it again. So ba -da -da. I am going to play it all in a minute, but let's just keep moving forward. It's a good stopping place for you if you need a couple of days to work on this section. I'm just moving through, you know, but I'm here whenever you need. You have the video. So this is guitar, but I'm going to pianoize it a little bit. B, D, G, so one, two, and one. So D, B, C sharp, A sharp, D, B, those are six. That's a very bluesy thing, dude. Right? The six like that. And guitar players can play six fairly easily. Right there, one, and two, and below it you just shake in the wrist whenever you you're doing a technological technological thing oh gosh there's one of those are having an earthquake it's uh we live in waco and we live near spacex you know elon musk and uh they're always doing that you know rocket testing or whatever and it shakes for like you know 50 miles around it's in mcgregor where they are but it shakes the windows if you live anywhere near it um, it just sounds like, you know, the world's coming to an end. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's rattled some pictures down sometimes. 
Uh, so that, and it's, it's far away. It's like, you know, 30 miles from me. But uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> Seems like they're doing it more and more. Now back to back to business. So this is more guitar stuff. B and D, two of those, A, C, and G, B. Okay, and then... And the keyboard does some stuff. Just <laughs> be patient. You know, it comes in. <laughs> It even has a nice solo at the end that we do as well. Guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg here. There's so much to do on this song. B, D, A, C, G, B. And I do recommend not doing this. A lot of you want to use the same fingers. Go 3, 5, 2, 4, 1, 3. And then we go D, G, B, 1, 2. Then E, C, 1, 2. So that's F natural and D. Then again, and then A and F. So I'm going to use three and five on the top fingers. Then I'll go to C chord, G, E, and left hand on a C. So, da -da. Da -da 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 -da. that's fun. So, and again, if you listen to it, I'm, I'm kind of taking a little liberty with it just to make it work on piano. E, G to E on the pink, pinky. D, F to D to C, E to C. So you notice it's just this. So make sure you're in position. Okay, a lot of um, times technique involves, you know, you got to have a good fingering. Sometimes if something's hard, it's because you're not using good fingers. Uh, then it can just be hard because it's hard. Uh, you have to use that wrist. Make sure your wrist is never um, tense. I mean, this is an amazing um, tool. Look, look, our wrist can do, you know, so many things. Just any rotation. Well, you need to let the natural rotation of your wrist happen any time imagine if you had you know like one of those ball and socket things that just and it's and it's oiled up so good it's just so floppy you know that's what you want your wrist to be like to be able to let it move in any direction um ten, tenseness is what contributes to something being technically difficult sometimes okay so you got to stay loose so my wrist and you can exaggerate the motion so that it it feels natural when you do it normal, when you take it back a little bit. See? So we play this again. One, two, and one. On my left hand, I'm just CGC. I'm just hanging out right there. So da, 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 da. You got to keep your, your hand locked in that that distance. Hey, using, I shouldn't wear the, you use the word locked maybe. I don't want you to get tense. So one. That's too hard. Just do the top. Right? Just do the top. And as we're holding that, we go to G. One. Da 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 da. C A C G B G one. I am gonna play it all in a minute. Hang on. Then a D chord, A D F sharp, left hand on a D. One, two, and a Well, C one. I think it goes to A, C there. And then a D. I can't quite see it there. So there we go. We have all of that. Let's start right here, okay? Ready and go. One, da, da, da. Now let's play it through um, maybe kind of slow, but I'll go all the way so you can hear hear that, okay? And I'm giving you a lot of extra in this part one. I don't usually give you near this much in the part one, but I am today. Just felt like doing it. Okay, so back to the board. Let's go from the very beginning. One and two and one and Singing.
there. And then we're at 49 seconds. So, gosh, I took you 50 seconds through it there. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good. There's a lot more to the song. Those of you who know it know there's lots of cool fills. I do every one of them. Uh, and especially the keyboard solo towards the end, we do that stuff too. Not as hard as you think. Uh, when you hear it, you go, oh, man, I never be able to play that. But it's not really any harder than this stuff we're already playing. Not too much. Okay? So webpianoteacher.com. I'll see you guys there. Uh, talk to you later.